in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this in just three or four steps. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike. They call me the Fresh Rents. I'm here on location at my home where I'm going to attempt to clean my own driveway. Some of you who are familiar with my channel, you'll remember that there's been an old jalopy parked right here that my daughter bought maybe a year or more ago and she has decided to sell it. And let me tell you, no one is more happy about this car being gone than my neighbors, and maybe I'm a close second. But nonetheless, we're gonna to attempt to clean this driveway today. We're gonna to do it in three or four easy steps. Now, if you were to hire someone to wash this driveway using the steps that I'm going to be doing today, in 2024, I would probably charge $350 to $400 but if you are a do-it-yourselfer, then you can rent the equipment at a local tool rental store, and I'll share with you all the chemicals necessary, and uh, you can do it yourself. Now, I am a professional pressure washer, so I have all the equipment necessary to pull off this task in a professional manner. But you can, again, rent all of the equipment. I will be using a 10 GPM pressure washer and this 31 inch surface cleaner. You could rent a much smaller pressure washer, even a four GPM pressure washer at your local tool rental store. And you could use a smaller surface cleaner like you're finding here. I will tell you that if you're gonna to try to pull this off yourself, it may actually cost you more than it would to actually pay someone to do it. Plus you can stay at home and you can drink tea and sit back in a recliner and watch them do it. But you can pull this off if you've got the time and the money to do so. So here's how this is all going to play out for me today. The first thing I'm going to do is apply a mixture of sodium hydroxide beads, soap, and water that I'll be mixing into this bucket right here. Now, I want to warn you right off the bat, if you get this solution on your skin, you'll no longer have any skin. So I would encourage you to leave this step up to the professionals. This is going to remove any grease and oil that may be on the surface of the concrete left behind by oil changes, drops of oil, and etc. I'm gonna let that dwell for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then with my surface cleaner, I'm going to clean the concrete and then rinse it thoroughly. The third step will be applying this muriatic acid that I purchased earlier today at my local ag store called Royal King. While there, I purchased a one gallon pump sprayer. That's what I'll use to apply the 50% muriatic acid and 50% water mixture onto the rust areas, and that should help to eliminate all this rust that is left behind by the old clunker. So now I'm going to mix the sodium hydroxide beads into the bucket, along with a little soap, downstream it onto the surface, and that will be the first step in our process. Just do it right. He'll scrub it down, make it shine so bright. Fresh rents in town, the future's bright. Fresh rents, my oh, watch him go. Washing down rooftops high and low. From Ohio straight to your door. Driveway gleams, you'll want more. Okay, there you have it. Now we have the concrete surface completely cleaned and rinsed. Now we're gonna tackle all of this concrete area. In fact, I'll be covering the entire surface of the concrete with this muriatic acid mixture. We're gonna get all this rust off of the concrete. Now this is not rebar, this isn't permanent. This is topical rust, if you will. This is on the surface of the concrete so this should come up easily enough so so once again i have a 50 50 mixture of water and muriatic acid put the water in first then your muriatic acid that's always best 
Be sure to wear gloves and a respirator. Just applying the muriatic acid and water mixture onto this area very heavily. You can see it immediately taking effect. I purchased this little pump sprayer for about $10 at my local ag store. Again, you can see this taking effect very quickly. I'm gonna go over the entire surface of the driveway and I will do it in sections and then rinsing each section. All right, here we go. As you can see, the majority of the rust is gone throughout the entire driveway. This whole project took about three gallons, a little less, of, high, of um, muriatic acid. You could also use hydrofluoric acid, i.e. aluminum brightener, or oxalic acid. This is the cheaper way to go. And I don't know, I'm not trying to save money, just trying to show you the least expensive way to do it. So you got a little spot there for oil we'll see if that'll come up and then right here a little oil here as well so all right here's what we're going to do tomorrow after work i have a few projects to wash tomorrow and then we're going to come home we're going to see it when it's all nice and dry don't go anywhere all right here we go 24 hours later i'm super happy with the results i am going to go over it one more time with the surface cleaner just kind of smooth a few things out we've driven on it overnight and today and you can see we've got some tire marks but when i get done with that it will look like a brand new one so if you live in the 513 or 937 area codes of Ohio and you feel like this kind of a project is just a little bit too much for you as a homeowner, you can call me. I'd be glad to come by, give you a price on how I can get you fixed up with all your concrete cleaning needs. Of course, concrete cleaning, house washing, roof washing, the whole nine yards, commercial and residential. Mike's Pressure Washing is the name, and my phone number is 513-235-8474, 513-235-8474. And if this video was a help to you, I'd be grateful if you would like and subscribe, and then be sure to hit the bell tab, and if you know what's good for you, leave a comment. All right, I really appreciate you watching. My name's Mike. They call me the Fresh Rinse, and I'm out. Remember the name.